Grana Weeping and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related and today on my channel we're going to be checking a look at issue number three of Transformers IDW King Grimlock. So this is the story where Grimlock has gone through a portal into another dimension and he's kind of in like the oldie worldy wizards and warlocks, dungeons and dragons type area and he's down for maybe or maybe not saving the planet. It's pretty much where he is. Maybe he'll help, maybe he won't. Maybe. So let's check a look at the front cover of this one then. This is issue number three and this for me is the best cover that they have done so far and i don't know if this is intentional or not but this is definitely a call back to a beast wars megatron right i mean the way that that's positioned there the way that everything looks it has to be right it's beautifully beautifully illustrated here king grimlock issue number three me grimlock look like powerful looks really really cool Opening it up, we have the King Grimlock, red pictures on the inside, the writer, the art, the colours, the letters, the editor, the assistant editor, and most importantly, supervising editor. So the planet that Grimlock is on is Minoria. Some of you will remember this from the original G1 cartoon. So the red wizard says... Awaken, son of Minoria, and meet your new master. Soon, even the Golden One will join the ranks of my dead red clay. With every Minorian death, the Red Wizard's army grows. Grimlock looking pretty awesome here again not feeling the shoulders on this dude but everything else looks absolutely epic since the last issue he's been training these troops to go up against the red wizard and they've been training for a few weeks as we know the girl who was traveling with him split off from grimlock because grimlock decided to help these people instead of helping her people kill the golden wizard he said he was going to help them kill the red wizard so he's been training up these troops and they're getting ready for battle grimlock suggests that tonight they recharge their batteries because tomorrow they go to war Arco is cursing Grimlock for turning away from her father and for choosing the Anglorians over her people. So Arco says that they are beneath, they are all beneath you, Arco. The real pity, and we can now see that she's fully armoured up. And she's thinking back to a time when this ship was obviously having some challenges and being attacked by all these different dragons and stuff like that. Um, I think this dude here, this is the dude that was being resurrected at the beginning. Uh, and we can see that at the back, we can see Arco standing there and the sword that's impaled within this beast has an Autobot symbol on the top. Meanwhile, at the village of Valorift, the Golden One has now attacked again, just like Arco said that they would. The mysterious stranger here looks on at the back and says, Soltron sees all. Uh, good hunting, my lords. The Golden One then speaks to Clatter and says, Good enough, Clatter. If Arnak's flock would rather beg that Dinobot sympathy than pay for Sultron's indulgences, then they become offerings themselves. Run, stay, hope, pray. It makes no difference. They will all burn as the face of Sultron smiles. And we can see that is the Autobot symbol. Meanwhile, in the Rotlands, which is where the Red um, Wizard is, and Grimlock is leading this band of 
um, Angorians, I think they were, uh, to go and attack the Red Wizard now. So they're trying to creep and they're saying, you know, the dude's magic is what keeps him safe, but they believe that the body of the Red Wizard is actually incredibly weak. So Grimlock is getting ready for the battle and he hears a noise behind him and he says he recognizes that noise and all of a sudden they are attacked by more of what they are calling woodbots. Woodbots. Bots of wood. So these woodbots are attacking and they get into a big fight. They say they're surrounded but Grimlock is undeterred and just says this is better, this is better. More and more, the more they get, the better. We then see all the freaks coming out. Very much reminds me of, uh, if anybody watching this reads the Giver, um, very much reminds me of the Zoinoids in Giver, um, looking pretty brutal there, it must say. But Grimlock just attack, 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 until there is just a complete sea of these woodbots, and Grimlock is just slashing his way through, transforms into his Dinobot mood, mood, mode, and continues to rip them apart until the Red Wizard himself appears. And Grimlock is recognizing the voice a little bit, but the Red Wizard uses its magic to blind the Dinobot's optic sensors. Grimlock says that he needs these optic sen sensors to be able to see, to fight, but he recognizes the voice and says, you know, wizard, you Quintesson. What a twist. What a twist. The red wizard is a Quintesson. Quite an odd looking Quintesson. I I've not really seen IDW do the Quintessons before, so I don't know if they always all have these very similar faces. But it's quite an interesting look for a Quintesson. And <laughs> basically, Grimlock just dispatches of the Quintesson very, very quickly. With his dying breath, the Quintesson laments that it's so sad that Grimlock has killed him because he could have unseated the Golden One, especially with Grimlock's power. And unfortunately, and he laments that Grimlock will not be enough to defeat the Golden One on his own. In the woods, we see Arnak trying to get to Grimlock to tell him he needs his help and to see if he can get the support from the Anglorians. But and Gloria now stands alone because we can see that they have defeated the Red Wizard as Grimlock holds up the remains of the fried, destroyed Quintesson. And Arnak looks at the destroyed Quintesson in disbelief. He never thought he would see the Red Wizard completely destroyed. Grimlock says, you Arnak, and then Arnak describes what has happened to the rest of the town and how the Golden One has destroyed everything in his path now, just like Arco said that they would. And he once again asks Grimlock for his support to help defeat the Golden One and now to actually save Arco as well. Grimlock then says that on his planet, Optimus Prime says, Freedom right of all sentient beings, but him wrong. It's justice. So he's saying that justice is the right of all sentient beings, not freedom. And unfortunately, what it looks like now is that Arco and the Golden One have teamed up. But first of all, she needs to pay penance for all of the time she's gone against the Golden One and all of the crimes in their eyes that she's committed, she says, and forgiveness, nothing well enough. Forgiveness is for the weak. So she's tipped over to the dark side. The next issue has a beautiful cover here with a golden dragon. Grimlock is attacking. That looks absolutely fantastic. Awesome cover that we got today. This one was a pretty nice cover as well. Just him with his sword straight out. We also got this one, which is, yeah, I'm not as keen on that one. It looks all right, but I'm not as keen. We get the kind of hero quest role playing inspired. All of the 
information and the bio about the Red Wizard. Love this kind of roleplay element of it. Dungeons and Dragons, Hero Quest type thing at the back. And then we get some adverts for the Wreckers. I completely forgot about these, so I haven't been covering it on the channel, but maybe I'll take a dip back. And then we also get the Halloween special Star Scream. A Marvel Heroes and a last running on the back grimlock transformers grimlock pretty cool so that was another issue of the transformers grimlock king grimlock very very cool really enjoying this series love the twist with the quintesson being involved um so i'm hoping that there's going to be a couple more twists around the corner for the uh, the golden one and the other ones as well to see who they are that's pretty cool nice twist Love it. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, in a bit. Peace.